Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we have yet another unboxing video um, this took quite a while to arrive because um, my supplier said um, in the custom they have some problem with it but nonetheless I still got it right now right in front of us I just got it just a couple of hours ago so I can't wait to unboxing because it's been a long time since I make a video and yeah and finally I just want to say that I pass all my papers so the next thing I'm going to do is get a job so I can fund more of my Gunpla and show you guys so yeah nonetheless here we have this Axia I say here there are four parts I might be getting one more just to show uh, just to display it one in this Axia repair and then one in the normal Axia so yeah anyway here in front here is the box art this box size is around the same as the Testament if you guys have it or maybe the Dev Scythe maybe slightly larger than the Dev Scythe but yeah, it's on the smaller scale size. I mean the smaller scale side. So yeah. So basically here is the box art. See it's coming in four modes as you guys can see. And then here it's quite hard because my camera angle is quite bad. But um, I'll take a picture here, so I'll put it at the side somewhere for you guys to read. And then at the side here, you guys can see here is the computer version. Where is this the normal XR? And here's the they say Xia Three. I'm not sure they actually came out with this in the anime. If my memory, if my memory serves me correct, it doesn't come out in this mode. Only in this. So yeah, maybe in the manga only. Then here you guys can see the Jian Long guns. Then the Jian sword here, Jian sword here. Then you can see the details, everything. It says here detail display. This part I don't know what's this. Maybe it's the LED. And then here you guys can see here's the completed Xia. This is the Xia repair tree. So yeah, here you guys can see down here, thrusters, GN particles, vernier location, close quarters, combat, you got block, then category high mobility equipment, blah blah blah. So yeah, now here is the top part of it, four in one change. Then here they have master grade dragon Momoko. and then over here you can see here's the other side where it can change from its repair one. This is the ignition mode, and then this part here is the not the full normal Xia. So yeah, and then here you guys can see the LED. You can see once you light in the front and one the back. This is the behind the GN drive. And here you guys can see the head. And here's the part here. So yeah, as you can see here, here's the normal Xia. And then you can change it to the repair mode here. In um repair mode, it appears in Double O Season Two. So yeah, if you guys haven't watched the anime, I would recommend you guys go and watch. It's really interesting. So yeah, anyway, let's get back here. Then you can see the GM blade, long and short. Then you can see here just like that. And then the other side, of course, is the repair, the first ignition repair mode. And then here's the again repair finish Xia. So yeah, and then at the back here, you guys can see. I think they mainly want to focus on this. This is the R3. And then here's the R1, the very first repair. And then here's the normal. This, this Xia, if I'm not mistaken, is the one that fought with the. The Gundam, I forgot what's the name, but it's the Granddaddy, but they have the GN Drive mount on it. So yeah, I mean basically the box art is very simple. So without further ado, now we take a look at the parts. So welcome back. We of course now have this box. It's all emptied out. I remove all the plastic for the parts. So yeah, the very first one of course is the stickers. Like I always say, I've forgotten to show you guys most of the time. So here is the water decal here. Right now I have more time to um, build the kits so I might take some time and put on the water decals so yeah anyway the first part the stickers is here so the next part here this would be used for the base it's quite um, the normal one just like the others normal releases that they really produce like the strike freedom and then here we have another white part here um, this is the normal white parts here you guys, you guys can see um, here is the Xia, the V fin here is broken off. Um, let me try if you guys can, can show you guys. So yeah, you guys can see here. It this part, the V fin part is of like um, when you cut out the connector here, then um, you always break the parts like you build Gao Gao Ta Ta Pa Dragon even Dragon Momoko. Yeah, this is how it looks like when you break the parts, and. Then here is the gen drive over here, and then yeah, that's really nothing much. And then here, you guys, can see um, the two contrasts. 
this one is the axia the not not destroyed then this part is sort of like the already destroyed so you guys can see again here the chipping part over here and the down here so yeah another part down so next part here we have another white part um this one should be the hands i don't know so here is a little bit detail over here and then next here you guys can see these are the gen blades or gen sword whatever you want to call it the long and short and then here is the hand the hand armor and then here is the beam saber so yeah quite normal so let me just put it at the side here then over here you have this is the normal axia as you guys can see this part down here already broke the connector so uh, kind of disappointed but nonetheless it's still in perfect mode and then here this part should be the legs should be the legs so yeah this one should be the hand either either the hand or the shield so yeah and then here more beam saber handles then here another white part here um this should be the gen shield yep and then here of course is the legs this is the upper part of the legs the tie um above the tie so yeah and then here basically just other parts here nothing much to show you guys next here we have this gray piece which is um should be the inner frame because i see this part here it will be used to mount on the gn shield so yeah hopefully i'm getting all the terms correct you know sometimes i just get mixed up with it now we start with the blue piece here here of course again is the gn gn shield the armor either gn shield the armor or the gn sword yeah the one where it can come out from the side so yep and then here should be the back of it the where you mount on the um gn drive then here we have more blue color parts this of course is the shoulder armor i recognize this part here so yep um truth be told i've not built any axia before uh, be it high grade or whatever so this will be my first build of axia but before i move on to building axia later i'll make an unboxing of the um, axia avalanche bandai non-grade 1 100 because i want to build that first i've been building lots of bullet kits but haven't um, been building bandai kits so i think i should get back to building bandai to get back the feel of it and then um here's something interesting like what what boys look at this the color separation one in is dark blue one in light blue or maybe if let's hope that it's because um but then both on top here i thought like this may this part may be used in maybe the xr um the r1 r2 or r3 but you can see up here it says i'm not sure you guys can see let me just do my best and focus it all right you guys can see here it's xr r2 and here is xr r2 as well so i'm not sure what's up with the sort of like faded color but then if you guys compare to now i have contrast between this this blue this light blue and then here it's another blue so basically i have three shades of blue so yeah i don't know why but um, we just have to take a look as we build them and then here another piece here okay so basically i have two all right so i guess my suspicion is already confirmed so there will be two different ones sorry for the sudden panic so the next part here we have some more um this should be the gen sword here should be not too sure again nothing much to show you guys so can't really um tell you guys what it is but then this i can tell you is the r3 this is um, where you have the long the long what i call that long rifle or whatever it is then here you have the inner frame for the gn shield so yeah um basically uh one part is done now we take a look at the smaller parts when i say smaller it's not really smaller yet they have still a couple of larger pieces larger parts so yeah I, this um again it's another inner frame part of it then here and shoot another bigger part oh my god uh, it's disappointing uh, i'm not sure you guys can see but there are already scratches here so this piece have a scratches this a little bit 
um, let's hope that it will not be like a major thing but I guess it's yeah this part again as well have some scratches I'm not sure you guys can see here this part then oversight here as well it's kind of sad I mean Dragon Momoko they are like doing very good but it's still I guess still lacking and then here you guys can see another part here this should be another one and this is another like blue so yeah so next part we move on to all the smaller pieces this time it's really smaller pieces so here of course the first part is the um, sort of like um, transparent green color piece so yeah this is sort of like in the heat mode if I'm not mistaken this of course came in as well for the XR Avalanche Dragon Momoko I won't build that yet so look forward to that and then here again another light blue piece so yeah really don't know how it will turn out and then now here we have two pieces over here again this is the lighter blue side and then a yellow piece here uh, smaller pieces I'll just put underneath here and then now this pink color it's kind of funny because I thought it would be like dark red but this in pink so yeah I'm not sure whether their ink ran out on my side but uh, yeah it's um, interesting and then here of course you have the hands these are all the fixed hands posts which uh, most of it comes with and then now here it's the dark red so I guess so I guess they are giving you an option whether you want a darker red or darker red or lighter red and then you have a darker blue or lighter blue so yeah I'm not sure how to feel about this it makes me a little bit confusing so yeah right now it's the polycaps um the polycaps this time um i think it's slightly better the quality i touch it's almost like the bandai one already so that's good to see then here another dark blue and then here it's another dark blue so there is a couple more parts so of course here you have the Gen sword. Is this the Gen sword or the long blade or the Gen blade? So yeah. And then inside you have the movable hand 2.0. And then here is the handle for the weapon. So yeah. And now here we have the clear green pieces, the transparent green. So yeah, we'll be using that on the um, legs, hands, the body. So yep. Then next here. We have of course the GN blade, the effect. So, yeah. Um, comparing, I've seen this and the. Okay, now here you want to see maybe the chipping part of it. So yeah, here it is, the broken of XR repair. So yeah, I'm, I'm comparing this and the um, Avalanche XR also came came come with this silver color. So um, uh, this looks more um dull more flat but then the avalanche looks more shinier so yeah and then here of course is the beam effect part so if you guys want to see so yep done and now of course here the xr repair this is the most interesting the cloth part i haven't taken it out but um, yeah i think i should and just show you guys i mean just i just want to feel and tell you guys how it is um you guys can see here this part is square so you can mount on later um, this it feels very flexible let me just you can move so yeah this part here is quite hard so the material is actually quite good I'm not sure how other people feel about it but yeah looks alright I guess so um, I've seen the Chinese um, builder I leave his YouTube um, link down below because he's always faster to uh, review um, these kits because he's from China or Taiwan I'm not, I'm not sure I'm not really sure where he's exactly from but yeah he always review first and then this part is sort of like uh, make the movement so like this cover at the side and then here at the back so you can move make it like the wa waving form sort of like it's floating and then yeah sort of like an effect part I would say so now here this um, done so of course the final part we look at the base so it, everything is still inside i do not want to take i don't want to remove the plastic first because the batteries are all inside so maybe this i'll take it out so yeah i mean here is the xia repairs like i say i hope they just come with just xia like 
excel itself because if you put excel repairs basically means that you want me to put in its ignition mode or what so yeah i think next time i should just put trans arm system excel will do so anyway here you guys can see some information here so yeah gundam xia code name gun no it's not it's gundam gundam xia so yeah then here is just some information um just a short comparison so yeah you guys can see here of course the avalanche xl you have more information because of the armor parts but then yeah just the good to design comparison so yep and then here is the stickers that i'll be using so yeah and then here maybe you guys just want to see here's the transparent part and then here is the batteries so yeah and of course i nearly forgotten is the review for the uh, manual so parts are done parts are done box art is done we we'll now move on to the manual so now here is the manual you guys can see this is the normal this is like the normal version xia let's call it xia 1.0 so yeah there is the front of it and then here maybe you guys want to see here it is sort of like cool effect he's like xia is throwing off his gen sword and going to attack the the what is it called that the flag the xia the flag the enemy so yeah so you guys can see here this the LED, the led that you can't see so maybe here you guys want to read with gn drive has almost unlimited energy and amazing mobility at the same time blah 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 so you guys want to read you guys can pause moving on here uh, more details about its weapons GN sword, GN long blade, blah blah blah, beam dagger, okay, everything. And then here is just all the GN blade. Now at the other side here, because here is the GN X, GN, okay, Xia uh, repair mode. So, yep. And here, like I say here, you guys can see, these actually two pieces, one were at the front. And the, the other one will be mount on the back. So you guys can see sort of like the waving form. So yep. Here are the more information of it. So yeah, I guess that's it for the art. Now let's count how many parts that it comes with. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Again, a lot of parts, but I don't think it's it will. I don't think it will ever top um, the amount of parts that the Avalanche Excel that it comes with. So yeah. So of course, always they start off with the head. So you guys want to read, you guys, if you guys want to see, you guys can pause. Let me just tap. Okay, it won't go any brighter, so maybe I will need to adjust the brightness. And then here, of course, is the mobile hand 2.0. I haven't been using them, um, to be frank, so yeah. Maybe I'll just build it just to see the quality of it. And here, I mean, usually the Excel body is very simple because it's aesthetic that it comes with less stuff. So yep, and then here is the weapons, and then here again is the hands, now here is the shoulder, and then, okay, it's kind of funny because the, all of a sudden the weapons first, maybe this is like the, the mode, the first mode of Axia, yeah, I guess it is, you guys see this gen sword, and then over here you are doing the R3 unit, so yeah, here are the parts that you will need to remove and exchange, so yeah it will be quite tricky i must take note of that so yeah here you can see the r3 and then here of course it's another it's another unit of it this hmm this is the normal this is the normal xia which the master rate comes with because i can recognize the um, beam saber at the back so yeah this should be it yeah yeah here you can see the gen shield as well and then of course here the blade so yeah this is the master grade version of it the master grade version of the Axia which Bandai released so yep just to clear things up hopefully I won't cause more confusion when I'm talking um, here is the yeah here this part starts is the repair mode so 
there will be lots of changing here and there. Let's let's pray that I won't break anything. And then here is the assembly part for the base. And then here are the stickers. So yep. Then here are the final box. I mean the art for the kit. So you got here's the transparent green here. You can do some effects. Then here of course, like I say, you can change. You come in two. One would be in silver. One in this color. I still. I mean, the effect part is cool, but I, I would still prefer the silver color just because it, it's in silver, looks more aesthetic, the looks. And then over here is the R3, yeah. So you guys want to read, you guys can pause about the information. And then here are the, the gen drive here. So yeah, I guess you can see the weapon you can change. So that's good. And then here is the back, and then here is the front. So yeah, that's it for today's unboxing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys do have enjoyed, please do not forget to drop a like down below and share it to your friends or anyone who would be interested to see this unboxing. And of course, um, if you still haven't subscribed as well, please do not forget to subscribe because there will be more videos coming soon this month. Um, after this, I will be doing unboxing on the Bandai Avalanche XCR non-grade 1 to 100. And then, the one I finally completed everything, I mean, not to say everything, but almost complete is the Strike Freedom Tapan. The whole mobile suit is complete, maybe the base, the effect, everything might take maybe at a little date because I um, got kind of lazy to it. Maybe the effect part, everything. So yeah, expect that to come out um, real soon, maybe today or tomorrow or the week after. So yeah, until then, I hope you guys have a really good day. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon.